Hi, Hiro Imafuji here from kendoguide.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, before you move on to the video, I would like to tell you some things. Uh, two things I'm, uh, I would like to apologize. One, the sound quality of the video. The sound quality of the video wasn't as good, isn't as good as usual because the micro, uh, the, the battery of the uh, microphone died. So I'm sorry about that. And two, um, I use Japanese English, I suppose. So there is one word you probably don't understand what it means, but uh, I figured that out during uh, my lecture at the dojo. So, but I still want to apologize for that. And the last thing I want to mention is um, I wrote an article on this, uh, the concept of kokoro. To uh, help you to understand better, uh, I wanted to organize uh, what I talked about in the video as well. So, uh, and I'm hoping that help you better to understand the concept of the uh, kokoro. So, I will make sure to put the uh, URL of the uh, article bottom of the video in the uh, description section. So. Please click on it to read the uh, article. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it and all the video and article will help you to understand the concept of Kokoro better. Thank you. Who can read that? You read it? No one? Is that shin, sir? Yeah. What does it mean? Is it mind or? Mind? At first, in Japanese? Never done martial arts before. Uh, yes, sir. You have? Uh, karate. Oh. Is that why you know that? No, I've been doing one for you, too. Oh, okay. So it means, you, we read it, Kokoro. Shin as well, such as Shingi Tai. Right? Shingi Tai. Mind, techniques, body should be together, right? So it's Shin as well. But another way of saying it is Kokoro. Kokoro. Okay? So you said mind. Okay, so mind. Mind. Right? It's not only. We can't really translate Japanese into one word. That's why we have a lot of trouble to translate Japanese to English. Because it's a concept, it's not a word. Right? So I want you to, today I want you to know what kokoro means. Because we use that a lot in martial arts. Not in kendo, not only in kendo. All the martial arts. Whatever or Japanese culture basically. Okay, so it's mind. Okay? When you say mind, what do you mean by mind? Thoughts, thoughts, okay, thoughts, all right. Thoughts. I have to type. I can't write anymore, okay? So I will, I will tell you the original meaning of this. It's hot. Okay, hot. Hot, right? Hot. Okay, why is it mind? Originally it means hot. What's hot? Hot, right? But when we talk about hot, anatom an anatomical hot, what is as as an anatomy, right? We call it shinzo, shin, not like you said shin, and we add zo, which means guts. Alright? So that means hot as an anatomy. Okay? But it means hot. Okay, so what do you use in English? When I say heart of the city, what does it mean? Does it mean this? What does it mean? It means the center. Center, right? Hi. Okay, so it's center too. Yeah, the British way, thank you very much. All right, center. Okay. When you say heartful, what does it mean? Heartful. Heartful. You're very heartful. 
What does it mean? A lot of hearts. Mm. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Never really use that term before. Really Not heartful. You, you don't use heart. <laughs> Maybe it's Japanese English. <laughs> so, when we use heart in Japan as Japanese English, it means like touched. Okay, what, what else can you think of heart? What do you think of heart? It says thought, center, touched. What else do you think of heart? When you're touched, you go, oh, I don't know, you're a girl, girls usually do, oh, right? Why they do this? Emotion. I don't know, emotion, right? Emotion. You put S. Yeah. And tell me if I'm using the wrong kind of English, especially PhD <laughs> professor at university. Right, so emotion it means feelings too. Right. So feelings, emotion, mind, thoughts, center, touch. What else? Give everything you got. What is it? Commitment. Commitment. And we call fighting spirit. Right. Fighting spirit. Spirit. Yeah, spirit. It's a pit. Is it I here? Alright? Is alright? Hey, I Spirit. What else? Spirit. Yeah, you have you have you've got to have spirit. Alright? What else? Something. So if you look at those, right, you can't really see. It's intangible. And also, I would like to add soul. Okay. When we say kokoro, we include all of this. All right. So it's center of the body as well. We say brain dead, right? What kind of dead is that? Brain is dead, but you're still alive, right? But if you're dead, what does it mean? Brain is dead. No. If you're dead, what does it mean? Heart is stop. Heart stop, and you're dead. Brain dead, you can still live, right? You're still breathing. But death is gone, you're done. Right? Center body. Okay? So when we talk about kokoro, we talk about this. So basically, when we talk about kokoro, okay, it includes body too. Right? If it's not there, you're dead. If your soul is gone, what happens? Supposedly, you're dead. I've never, never been dead. I've never been dead, so I don't know. Spread's gone. You're supposedly dead, right? You don't, have, you don't have any heart, or you're a cold person, right? I don't know if you have that kind of expression or not. But we use kokoro all the time. And it's related to feelings, emotions, mind as well, thoughts, well, of course, mind thoughts, right? It's the center, core of your thoughts, right? Feelings, core of everything. We call it kokoro. So when we say, okay, your kokoro is dirty, in, we say that in Japanese. In Japanese. Your kokoro is dirty. What do you think it means? You're a bastard. Right? You're an a hole. Basically. That's filthy. <laughs> right? So basically, that's what it means. So we say, we are training kokoro. We're training all of it. It's on the mind. Right? Uh, you have to control feelings to be stable. Right? If emotionally you're unstable, we say your kokoro is unstable. You know? Your, your kokoro is unstable. That means you're not focused. 
We use this a lot. It's not only mine. So that's why if you look at translation, you only see you you only seeing one one thing. And we use we distinguish as as interpreter. I just I have to distinguish those those. Depends on what they are talking about. But in Japanese, we get it. Boom, like that. Because we know the concept. Right? So I wanted you to understand the concept of kokoro. So when I say, you know, you hit, you should hit your opponent's kokoro with your kokoro. And then you get it. I hope. You know, it doesn't mean you, you, you hit your opponent's mind with your mind. It doesn't make sense, right? Right? If I say kokoro, it's center of the body, right? Center of your body. That means you. That means you. That right? means you. If if this is dead, what happens? You no longer exist. Right? Okay. You no longer exist. So if you strike with your kokoro, that means you strike not with shina. You're not striking your opponent with shina. Right? Here. Everything you have, yourself. You have to strike with, so you have to talk to their mind. Their mind, with your mind. You have to talk to them. And they say, wow, that was good. They think your strike was good. They think they were defeated even before you strike them. You did this. You struck them with your heart. Okay, this is the ultimate goal of kingdom. Okay? Alright. You, you have to train this. Kokoro. Not mind, not only mind, not only your feelings, emotions, or thought, you know, or like spirit or soul. I'm not talking about one element of kokoro. I'm talking about everything. Right? When you, of course, if you try to train kokoro, you have to train your body too. But, like Zen Buddhist, it looks like they are sitting down and just meditate. It's not only thing they do. They do a lot of hard things, right? Fasting, for example, walk around miles and miles, but physically, they are still training as well. Not like kendo, not to fight. They are challenging themselves. Okay, physical. Okay. So, basically, when you, when we say we are training kokoro, that's what we do. All right. All right. So it's not only mind. Okay. It's not only spirit. It's not only soul. Okay. So when you strike, when you say everything you have, you mean I mean this. You, everything you have is built upon your experience so far, right? Right? All right. So, you strike man with this. Everything you have. Now with Shina. Of course you have to. You have to. Kendo. With your Shina. But you also have to do this. That's the ultimate goal. Right? Hey, not so. Do you get it? The concept, concept of koko. So when I say, uh, when you say there's kanji or kokoro or whatever, whatever it is, shingitai, that's what it means. It's not only mind. It's easy to say mind, right? You can't. We can't list up everything here. Go, okay. Shingitai means feelings, emotions, mind. No, 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 you can't do it. Body is body. No, technique. Uh, was a technique, so it's easy to say. But this is a lot, of, lot more than mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay? That's why, I, last thing I want to say is make sure you understand this. You, you are, you, your ultimate goal is to strike your opponent's mind with your mind, not with shield. Okay? 
That's why even the, even if you didn't even touch it before, the semi, strong semi, okay, and night time senses, long time ago said, okay, you got me. You won. They didn't hit. They didn't hit each other, but because. The one sense it took his center, center, right? I go, okay. One. Did they hit with Shinai? No. He hit your, his opponent's heart, Kokoro, with his. Okay? So that's why, even though you don't get hit, sometimes you have to think, oh my God, that was good. If that was good, you have to think that was good because I was lost even before he actually got. If you can think like that, you will get in there. If you just focus on hitting, right, you never get there. You won't understand. Okay? So if you, if you focus on hitting, you will become very selfish person, self-centered. You only think about yourself. Right? This only works for you. Right? Hi. Only self-centered. Not, talk, not talking about that one. Not, not thinking about the other one. Okay, so very important concept you should remember. Okay, so when you talk to people, you have to think about what other people might think. Right? Otherwise, you have to think about consequence. If I say this, what will happen? Right? If I want to say whatever I want to say, self-centered, right, I might hurt you. Right? Hi. Right? Hi. 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 If that's intentionally, you're in bad kokoro. But sometimes I will do it for your future growth. Thinking about I have to hurt you sometimes. That's in kind of, I have to hit you something. When I see opening, this is the opening. Don't make it make it open, right? Right? Hi. That's discipline we call. Okay, I have to say things to you I don't want to say. But it's for your future growth. Thinking about this. If you don't understand the concept, just hitting each other. What's why is Kendo is there? You know? Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, okay, so I can just cope it up uh, from now. Okay? Alright. All right. Hi. I'm done.